En el video que verás a continuación, Pan Shapiro tiene una conversación un poco candente con la tía progre que ves en pantalla. Los temas tratados fueron el aborto y la importancia de la educación sexual integral. En cierta parte del video, la progre intenta dejar en ridículo a Van Shapiro, sin embargo, le sale mal. Mira el video completo y comenta si Van Shapiro tiene razón o no. Hi Ben, thank you for coming. Um, I just want to ask, what is your view on the fact that bans on abortion do lead to about a 21% increase in pregnancy-related deaths when you hold that your views on abortion and abortion bans are based on the fact that you have a desire to protect life and save lives because every human being is made in God's image? Because I think we're going to have a fundamental disconnect here. The entire abortion debate is centered on whether indeed a, an unborn child or a, or a human life with potential is in fact that, or if it is just a ball of cells. If you believe that there is inherent value to a fetus, then I am seeking to preserve that life as well as the life of the mother. If you look at the raw numbers in terms of, for example, in the United States, a million abortions a year, let's assume that laws banning abortion in the United States were universal, those million abortions go away tomorrow. That's an effective law, the abortions go away, but there's also a concomitant increase in the number of women who are seeking back alley abortions, for example. There's a concomitant increase in the number of women who are dying in pregnancy-related childbirth. That would not be a million. That would be a lot lower than a million because a million women out of a million women, that would suggest that a million abortions would, if, if brought to term, a million of those women would die. That's obviously not true. So for me, an abortion prevented is a life saved. And you have to weigh that against what you're talking about, which is the life of, of the mother when it comes to a pregnancy. Now, even as a, a fan of, of pro-life position, and I am, I'm, I'm a deeply pro-life person, I still have an exception for the life of the mother. So if the life of the mother is endangered by a pregnancy, then abortion would be legal. That's true for every pro-lifer in the United States, by the way, including the most pro-life people, including me. So, you know, the, the, I think that in order to make the argument that you're making, you would have to assume that there is no cost to abortion remaining legal in terms of lives lost. Okay, so you're doing it on a utilitarian basis. On, well, I'm doing it on a lives saved basis, yes. Well, yeah, so, so, a, so utili sure, a utilitarian yes, basis, sure, right. Sure. So then if you look at comprehensive sex education, which the US does not have. A lot of people in rural areas don't have any form of sex education. You yourself have said, and I quote, um, on a general level, I don't think that teachers should be talking about sex in the classroom with kids at all at any age. Um, it's shown that comprehensive and correct sex education reduces rates of abortion and teen pregnancy. So then if your goal is to save lives, why do you not support comprehensive sex education? Because, because it I, seems like your goal is something else. No, because the these, first of all, I would like to see the studies that you're citing in support of that um, so particular So th that study idea. is the University of Washington Okay, study. and there are plenty of other studies in the United States that suggest essentially no difference in, for example, unwed pregnancy in the United States. In can I have those studies? What, can you, can you have them? You can look at the pregnancy rates in California, New York, Massachusetts. I just gave you my reference. I mean, I'm, I'm, happy, to get, I'm happy to email you references if you so choose. <laughs> but to say, I mean, th this does happen to me. It's, This does happen to be a topic where there is social science on both sides. I'm not, I'm not saying that, you're, that the study that you're citing isn't valid. I'm just suggesting that there is uh, a, a difference in, in data methods. And I'm suggesting that the, the single motherhood rates in the West with comprehensive sex education are miles higher than they were in, say, the 1950s when there was not comprehensive sex education. So obviously that has not militated against the amount of unwed pregnancy happening in society. So the, the idea that the cure-all here is comprehensive sex ed, if you could prove to me, let's put it this way, if you could prove to me that comprehensive sex ed did result in lower levels of abortion, lower levels of unwed pregnancy, and that, that it was values neutral, comprehensive sex ed, in the sense that what it was actually teaching is, here is how to prevent a pregnancy without ending it in abortion, then I, I actually don't have a huge problem with that. It depends on the age at which you're teaching kids. There are, other, there are other issues that I have with comprehensive sex ed, including the fact that what is taught is not sim the simple biology of sex and how to prevent a pregnancy. Comprehensive sex ed simply goes a lot further than that, and I have serious moral problems with that. It seems like you're just trying to force women into motherhood, not save lives. And, <laughs> I mean, just to respond briefly to that, I'm, I'm confused as to... Uh, the, the very language of, of forcing women into motherhood suggests that in a vast, vast, vast majority of cases in which women get pregnant, they had no part in the actual pregnancy-making act, which is not true. I've, I've done nothing. I, when, when you get, if you or any of your friends get pregnant, that is generally not 
having anything to do with, with me per se. So I'm confused as to why I would want you to force it. La progre intentó usar la técnica de dejar en ridículo al oponente en los debates, usualmente usado por ponentes como Van Shapiro. Sin embargo, le falló. Como también se darán cuenta, la ponencia se llevaba a cabo en una universidad, y valga la redundancia, también se darán cuenta que la mayoría de alumnos son progres, por eso aplauden a la tía aun cuando no tenga la razón. Pero dejando ello a un lado, Quisiera comentar que yo estoy a favor del control parental sobre la educación sexual de nuestros hijos. Los padres debemos tener un papel dominante en la formación de sus valores morales y educación sexual. Ello no quiere decir que no esté de acuerdo que de manera seria y objetiva se enseñe el tema en las escuelas. El problema es cuando le meten temas de diversidad sexual a niños de jardín, de 4 u 8 años. Vamos, que ellos solo quieren jugar con juguetes, no quieren saber cómo juegan con sus partes el uno al otro, adultos del mismo sexo. ¿Tú qué opinas? Déjamelo saber en los comentarios. Y hasta aquí llegamos con este video, espero te haya gustado. Si fue así dale like, comenta y comparte. Si no estás suscrito, suscríbete y urgentemente activa la campanita para que te notifiquen cuando subo video, subo 3 a 4 videos durante la semana. Gracias, hasta luego.